Education Logics. I'm Jeff, and this is your SoCal Fishing Forecast for Thursday, September 7th. Pardon my voice here, and just trying to get through this cold here, and uh, I don't even know what it is. COVID, cold, it's all the same these days. But um, quick look at our 10-day forecast here. See, we got some more of this cloud cover coming in here. Uh, still warm temps, which is good, and not a lot of chance of rain, but this could potentially change. And uh, just like a couple weeks ago, I got uh, another one of these bad boy hurricanes hanging out down south here. And uh, we'll just let this thing rip here for a minute. But uh, this one takes a more traditional path, a little bit more northwest. Definitely in our swell window, we're going to see some swell from it. But um, as it hits that colder water and that northwest wind shear pretty much fizzles out. So let's go ahead west. Uh, what it does after that, I guess we'll... We'll see, um, but for the time being, we've had some pretty nice uh, winds here as of late, <clears throat> at least this evening here. It's actually looking really nice. Drop a picker here for you. Uh, but yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten knots. All very, very reasonable here. Uh, Friday, you're gonna start seeing some of this uh, hurricane swell come up south, southeast direction. Uh, looks like it's gonna be about five foot of 12 seconds, so. A little closer together than normal, but um, shouldn't keep you out the water for any particular reason. Uh, as we fade into Saturday, wind conditions remain pretty fair. And then as we get into the evening here, they start to ramp up a little bit. So just kind of depends on where you're hanging out, how much of this you're going to see here. But um, it does start to ramp up into Sunday, 15, 17 knots. So we'll see what happens. Um, this hurricane could change all this too. So um, looks like it's going to hit. To head northwest, not really into uh, the SoCal weather window, but you know, these things change, they kind of stir it up. Um, but we'll see where it goes. Uh, as far as our marine forecast, <clears throat> really what we're talking about here was <clears throat> Saturday, let's call it the worst. It was uh, 10 to 15 knots, wind waves around three feet in the morning, becoming less <clears throat> than two feet, and into Sunday. So really, those wind waves late Saturday are going to be the biggest, but uh, 5 feet at 12 seconds from south, southeast, or the south is fine. 2 to 3 at 6 is going to make for a little bumpy ride from the northwest. So a little sloppy coming together here. Um, but yeah, so maybe uh, stick on the inside of the islands uh, for Sunday. And uh, if you feel like venturing out early and the weather stays okay, uh, check out west uh, before the wind comes up on Saturday. So... That's how we're looking for now. Uh, but yeah, here's our current water temps here. We're looking pretty good. Still 72. The days have been nice and sunny uh, for once. It's kind of nice. And uh, we had some pretty good fishing over the weekend. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. And um, yeah, 70, 72 degrees. What, what more can you ask for here? Except for what we don't see on the chart is our dirty green water. <clears throat> this is that... Uh, little red tide you've been seeing. Uh, you might have seen some of the bioluminescence at night as well. That's particularly the orange stuff here. Uh, there's some of it down in this zone too through Dana and San Clemente. Um, I saw some of it tonight and this afternoon. Uh, the water is really streaky. You get some nice clear streaks of good clean water and then some nice brown water. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm looking at, check the surf cans tomorrow morning on Surfline uh, when the sun's up and you kind of really get a good Good look at this area. Let's kind of see what it looks like. Kind of a cheat code if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, overall, <clears throat> this stuff out here is looking really nasty. So I would probably not fish this area. Um, but coming down south, we'll, we'll talk about it as we get there. But so up at Channel Islands, things are very quiet up at Channel Islands. Not a whole lot going on as of late. There's been some sporadic blooping still down here below on the ridge, but not a whole lot of volume. I wouldn't put a lot of faith into chasing this stuff, but it was there over the weekend. Coming down south, no real reports coming from the islands of San Nick or Santa Barbara. Again, most people are opting for offshore fishing versus fishing these islands. Generally speaking, off offshore is a lot more predictable and uh, less conditions to work with. So, uh, We've had a little bit of bluefin in this area behind Catalina uh, to the escarpment out here. Uh, there has been some on the escarpment here uh, between the Osborne and San Clemente at the 7-Eleven, this whole area too. Um, just not a lot of volume the last few days, but there's definitely fish around, and this would be 
pretty much all bluefin in this zone, you could say. Uh, <clears throat> Catalina, same old stuff around the island. Summertime fishing has not been great. A couple of yelltail here and there. All the bass you want any day of the week. Uh, all that stuff's there, as the usual. But when it comes to yelltail, just far and few and smaller fish in, in between. Wouldn't spend a whole lot of time devoted to it. And same with the island. Same old deal. Still decent yelltail fishing along the front side and the bottom side by Pyramid Cove out to China Point. Uh, still flies, seals, uh, and the Navy. So why why invest a lot of time in that when we got much better fishing offshore? Uh, coming back out to Tanner and Cortez. Uh, this stuff has been looked at the last couple days. Um, there is some schoolie sized fish uh, around uh, when it comes to bluefin. Still yelltail on both the high spots. Um, I saw the Amigo scores and really nice size ones uh, over the weekend, I like the 25 poundish stuff. So looks fun. Uh, there's still some bluefin at the cherry banks, but it sounds like they're kind of smaller fish or no one's really got a good look at them in the last couple of days because there's just a lot more stuff that's close to home too. So, um, but yeah, we'll see how it looks at. Uh, probably not worth coming here with the wind. Uh, maybe check it again after the wind, see what happens. All right, uh, last couple days, or the last two days in particular, um, there's been some more of that bluefin popping up here close to shore. Uh, I heard today as close as three miles, um, a little bit on the east side of the 14 mile bank here. So basically, you can kind of see where this green water edge is and know that there's going to be bait in these areas uh, as it's chomping up on this plankton and <coughs> chlorophyll stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the water's green and dirty. dirty. Uh, don't be afraid to like look around for it somewhat on the dirty edge. Uh, that stuff does pop up in there uh, when they are hungry. So never far from the lunchroom. But uh, mix of bluefin, yellowfin in here. There hasn't been as much Dorado up this high. I mean, you might find some on a patty. But generally speaking, um, the stuff the last two days has been seen from Carlsbad uh, all the way up to Newport. And a little bit east of 14 Mile Bank. So you can pretty much draw the line on that edge there. And that's where I'm going to be zigzagging and checking this stuff out with <coughs> the binoculars as well. Coming down south, uh, still in the San Clemente Basin, we've had some really good Dorado fishing mixed in with some yellowfin. There's a little bit of bluefin mixed in here too, um, which is all the reasons why we are not fishing in San Clemente Island. Um, so if we head up from San Diego on an overnight or maybe day and a half trip, I would plan on spending a lot of time in this zone. There's just been really good volume uh, all in all. Mexican waters, uh, you can tell the water's a lot greener. You can still find Dorado and some Yellowtail and Kilpatty stuff in this. Um, but when it comes to like Coronado Islands, the water's pretty gross. Uh, some of the red tide has made its way into there today as well. Um, so stay away from the island fishing, stick to offshore fishing, much better odds at looking what you're finding for. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, be safe out there, have a good weekend. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you next week. Hopefully I have a, have a voice again. So cheers guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out our website and online store at chasingprojects.com and make sure you share the stoke.